Now, as more of our data moves to the cloud, maintaining the integrity of servers and networks around the world becomes even more critical, particularly if you happen to be the U.S. government. My next guest is Manuel Medina. He's the chief executive of Terramark Worldwide. They provide IT services to government agencies, including the U.S. Department of Defense. Now, Manuel Medina founded Terramark in 1980 when many of us had never even heard of the Internet or the personal computer. Manuel Medina, welcome to Bloomberg Taking Stock. Thank you, Ben. Thank you very much for having me. Now, Emmanuel, can you just give people an idea of the kinds of services that Terramark offers? Because we throw these words around like co-location and redundancy, but you're all about just keeping the network up and letting people get access to the information, the data, as well as the applications whenever they want it. Yes, uh, we specialize in, in companies, large enterprises and government agencies and in helping them run their mission critical applications uh, with a uh, set of highly differentiated uh, products and services that include, uh, it really all starts with our uh, very secure, massively connected data centers around the world. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have uh, the products, for example, we're one of the leaders in cybersecurity and help you uh, uh, protect your data at the same time that we help you manage your IT infrastructure and save significant amounts of, uh, of money. Now, Manuel, you've got a big uh, center in Miami. Explain how that connects with a new data center, the capital region sector that you're building. Yes, the center in Miami actually is a very differentiated data center because it actually serves as the connection point between the entire continent of Latin America, the Caribbean, North America, and Europe. So a lot of multinationals that are doing uh, business in the three continents uh, deploy their main IT infrastructure at the data center in Miami, which has over 160 different carriers connecting it. Now, they either back up then in our, in our campus in Virginia, uh, which is one of the most protected data center campuses in the entire North American continent, Continent, or vice versa. They have their primary IT infrastructure in the campus in Virginia and then back up here in Miami or in one of our other centers. Now, Manuel, what are you seeing in terms of the demand? Are you seeing demand for more cloud computing infrastructure, being able to host applications as well as connect and talk with those applications in real time, but outside in the cloud somewhere? Pim, I, I, I got to tell you, I've been in this business for a long time, and I have never seen the sense of excitement that there is about a given product. As exciting as the Internet Revolution was in the late 90s, I got to tell you, the cloud revolution is even going to be, is going to dwarf the Internet Revolution. It's just that our, our cloud uh, has been around, uh, it's ancient in cloud years, because it's now almost three years since uh, we've been offering um, uh, our cloud products. And our business is just taking off, particularly this last year. It's being adopted at the, at the mainstream, not just for... Um, uh, development uh, applications, but also for, for uh, applications that are mission critical, as I was saying before. So we expect this to continue to grow at a very, very fast pace. All right. I want to thank you very much, much uh, Emmanuel Medina. He is the chief executive and founder of the IT services company, Terramark.